What up, people? It's your favorite couple on the internet back with another podcast. And the last one we called a couple on a couch, but clearly we're not on a couch <laughs> because this room's kind of a mess right now. We're okay? just we're just trying to figure out our setup. So yeah. be nice, okay? We're still the couple on a couch, just currently not on a couch. But babe, how was your week? Oh yeah, if you guys don't know, this is our weekly podcast where we talk about our week and stuff in the news. It's freaking sick, okay? Um, but how was your week, babe? Was it good? My week was good. It good. was busy. Kind of. It was kind of busy. How so? Um, this week we had on the 4th of July, which I guess was later in the week, but what did I do this week? You said you was busy, so you better have some stuff, girl, because <laughs> apparently you ain't do nothing. Oh, yeah. I was in Colorado last weekend. Oh, yeah. You were, weren't you? Yeah. Hmm. I was in Colorado last weekend visiting family, which was super fun. If you ever want to go back to Colorado, babe, we can. Um, but I was in Colorado visiting family and then I got back and then it's just been, it was kind of hectic. We were just figuring everything out, blah, 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 blah. And then your sister came in town on the 4th of July. Uh, my sister and Nick the tryhard. Oh yeah, sorry. Um, and your sister and her husband, Nick, the tryhard, Nick the tryhard came into town on the 4th of July. So we've just been hanging out with them. Just kind of, yeah, hanging out. Yeah. We hung out. Uh, I went fishing a couple times, caught some fish. And uh, yeah, enough with our boring lives, babe. What are some things we're talking about? I want to start off with the explosion heard around the world. And no, I'm not talking about fireworks. I'm talking about <laughs> that knee Ben Askren, Ben Askren, Askren took right to the neck. Oh, like, I watched that in slow mo. He didn't even take it to the face. I think he got hit right here, which is probably oh, worse. Oh, really? I think I could have seen it wrong, but it looks like he got a knee right here. Like if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I don't know how. But uh, he got KO'd in five seconds. We honestly, honestly, I'll link a like a like video. a clip. Yeah, yeah in it the was, description. It was you guys rough. have to go watch it. It's only five seconds long. So and honestly, he it wasn't five seconds. He was knocked out in like two and yeah. a half, and then the uh, or the the umpire. I'm gonna say the umpire. <laughs> the ref didn't stop it for like three seconds. He was done after two. Well, we were literally saying that like if you listen to the tape, it says like in the sponsor for this fight oh, is yeah. and even but literally before Joe Rogan said the sponsor for the fight. The guy was already yeah. knocked out. And like, they go, the sponsor of this fight is Devour Foods or whatever. <laughs> and he goes, the sponsor. Oh, my God. Like, literally, literally. I was like, dang, that really would have sucked to yeah. be that sponsor. Yeah, that sucks for Ben Askren, too. <laughs> He's going to be meme for a quad. And that was his first loss, like, ever. Oh. So, you hate to see it. You yeah, hate to see rough. it. But babe, it what's rough. in the news for you here, huh? What did you do? What Like, what did you see on the news lately? There's been a lot going on. If you didn't know, Joe Jonas is officially off the market. He got married. Did you know that? Well, they got they no. already got married in Vegas. Him and mm. Sophia Turner, I think, is her name. She's in she's in uh, Game of Thrones. Oh. She's uh, that blonde princess. What's her name? Dark Targaryen. No, 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 no. Oh, I've watched I like know. eight, or like maybe Game of eight Thron- episodes. Game of Thrones fans are gonna come at me for that one, but yeah, I don't know. I don't um, watch a lot of yeah, Game they of got married. What else happened? Uh. <laughs> The uh, USA women's soccer oh, team yeah. won the World yeah, Cup. Yeah, they did. I, I knew they were so going to win. so exciting. I almost bet on the game because I knew they were going to win. They weren't going to lose. There's no way they lose. I mean, but that's really exciting. That's some good stuff right there. Yeah. Who did they beat, though? I don't know. I didn't even watch it. I just knew they were going to win. It's like watching something you know the outcome is not as, as cool. Yeah, so I just didn't true. watch it. That's true. But I knew they were going to win. I should have bet money, but I didn't. I only like betting on games where I lose money. Yeah. So. Oh, and other news... I brought. I, I have a little thing that we're going to do. Okay. I brought I like a pre-planned it. thing. I like it. What is it? The bottle cap challenge has just absolutely oh, yeah. taken the internet by storm. It has. And I thought, you know, Andrew has attempted it kind of. It was kind of more like a funny thing. That he, like, bottle was almost ripped in half He kicked the water of bottle foot. pretty bad. But I thought in this episode, on this podcast, we would try the bottle cap challenge. How are we going to do that? I brought one up and we're going to put it right here on the table. We're each going to give a one shot. We should probably do that at the end because something bad could happen. That's true. Okay. We'll do it at the end. So you guys have to stick around to the end to see if one of us can accomplish the bottle. And I challenge. say we do it on the phone, not with this camera, because something bad could happen. What do you mean? You kick the table, the table falls, camera falls, boom, smash, done. No, it'll be fine. I- It'll be fine. I've seen you do some athletic things before and trust me. Andrew, it'll be fine. It's a water bottle. Literally, it's a plastic water I'm bottle. I'm not concerned about the water bottle. I'm concerned about your foot smashing the table. The which foot falls. will be fine. But if it does fall, you're buying this? Yes. 
that set up about sixteen hundred dollars. <laughs> but that's only if I do it. If you do it, then that's your problem. I I've already done it. Why do I have to do it? You haven't even attempted it. I say you just do the bottle cap. Okay, challenge. I'll do. Okay, it. it's in. It's a date. Book it in your phone for about five minutes from now. And yeah, uh, today Sunday we had a big scare. My life was almost changed. Well, it was changed for like. 13 minutes. That's, that's, no, it was. that's pretty dramatic. No, answer. let me, that's let me explain dramatic. what happened. So, uh, we went to my aunt's house and you know, we had fun, we ate stuff and then we were leaving and I got to like the car and I'm like, Oh no, my wallet's gone. So I just jogged Wait, back Wait, hold in. on. Sorry. I'm going to interrupt this story. I just have to, you know, give a special shout out to this pasta we ate today. I pretty mm -hmm. much ate my life away. Literally, Andrew's grandpa got us this pasta from Italy, and it was like the best pasta I've ever from had. From freaking Rome. I swear I ate like 4,000 calories just purely in pasta today. Like, I, I was that. in a food coma. Like, you know when you eat so much and you just get like so extremely tired? I'm still tired That's from it. That's how I felt. I'm still tired from it. Oof, so but bad. back to the story, okay? Sorry. I went back inside the house, and I was searching. You know, when you lose something, you're like, oh, it's probably just in there or wherever. I looked. Couldn't find it. I looked in the couch that I was sitting on, couldn't find it. Looked in the recliner I laid in, couldn't find it. Went back to the car, looked around, couldn't find it. I'm like, oh, this is bad. So then this I decide that spot. I need to get out of the car because, well, we got to figure out where this is. And previously we we're at Whole Foods. So I was like, oh gosh, it could be at Whole Foods. So I got out of the car. I started looking around the car. I started mm -hmm. looking in the house. But it's like really nowhere in the house. And I call Whole Foods and I say, hey, do you guys have this ID, whatever, they were like, no, we don't have it. And I was like, oh, God. And then that's when my heart sank. I'm like, I'm screwed. And this, these are the outcomes here. It's hiding in a really good spot or someone at Whole Foods snatched my wallet and is now going to the Ferrari dealership to buy a car. No, it was really... Th those are the only two outcomes. Yeah, that is true. It was either in Whole Foods or in the Whole Foods parking lot or whatever or was at Andrew's aunt's house. And we even got to the point of desperation where we literally looked through the yeah. trash, okay? Literally. They're like, maybe like you put opened it. opened up trash yeah. bags that they were go, already tied and put in the dumpster. They go, maybe you threw it in the bag you got from Whole Foods. I said, I would have never done that, but maybe I did. So yeah. we went through a trash can, not in there. I researched all the things, the recliner. I put my arm <laughs> all the way in. I'm like this deep in the recliner, feeling it. I'm like, it's not in here. It's not in the couch. It's not in the trash can. It's not in Claire's car. I said, it's got to be at Whole Foods. I'm like literally about to cancel my cards. Literally. Call the bank. This was like what? This was like a 45-ish Oh yeah, 45 process. to like an hour. But I just think that what's interesting is like when you, st when you lose things like that and you literally can't find that, but you're like, I know it's here. Like there's no way... You start thinking of like all the weird things that could have potentially well, yeah, happened. They like, almost convinced me that I put it in the trash can. I said, I'm telling you, I would never have done but that. But then you start to go, then you start to feel like you're crazy because well, you're I'm like, like I'm, I know I had it. Like, I know it's here, but it's like, exactly. we literally, there was five people looking for this wallet. It was like no joke. And the thing like is, we hunt. searched each thing like six times. And like the first time, you know, you kind of do it. And the second time you're like, okay, I really got to make sure it was nowhere to be found. I'm seconds from canceling my bank account freaking uh like i had to go get a new id and that was worse i'd rather someone take all my money you than need have to, go to get sit. you need to get a I new know. id though so i was kind of like i'm kind of happy he lost the wallet because like you need to go get that stuff done like you are procrastinating it's like not cool yeah but whatever i don't freaking care okay but then do you want me to tell this part or do you yeah i feel part? like i'm like sitting on the couch you just, co tell, tell about how you called that's an important part of the story. Oh, yeah. So I call. Well, no. Someone called me, my sister. And she goes, have you found it? I'm like, no, I haven't found it. <laughs> of course I haven't found it because it's freaking gone. And uh, then she goes, make sure you check the couches. Check the recliner. And then she said, Nick the Tryhard's dad lost his wallet in the recliner for like two years. So then I'm like. What? Yeah. That's I what didn't she hear said. her say that. Yeah, that's what she said on the phone. And I was like. Two I, years. Yeah, and I was like, uh, well, I already checked the recliner. It's not in there. And then I'm like, all right, I'll check, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then Claire's like deep in the recliner. She like peeled No, out. I did tell this. About, okay, no, yeah, you, this is you not do, your you part do, of you the story to tell. But I just kind of want to put a pin in this and talk about the fact that uh, Nick's dad had lost his wallet in the recliner Yeah, that's unfortunate. Wait, like when you find that after two years, are you mad? Are you relieved? It, ha it happened to my brother too. He lost two phones. <laughs> And they were both in the same recliner. They cut the bottom of it and two phones dropped what? out. Like, what? Okay, but, so now yeah. recliners should just be called 
personal and valuable items stealers, not even recliners. That's ridiculous. Yeah, or the pickpocketer. Okay. But from my perspective, what happened, I was sitting on the floor. Andrew was talking to his sister, and I could hear his sister over the speakerphone, and she was like, just check the recliner. I at yours. Just check the recliner one more time. And this is after I've checked it personally three times, and deep. My hand, I'm telling you, was through yeah. it. Like I was yeah. like, it can't. It's literally not in here. It's well, I checked it. I had checked it twice. You had checked it three times. Your aunt had checked it twice, and your cousin had checked it once. Yeah. So it, like, it's not in the freaking recliner, right? But I hear her say that. I'm just like, at this point, we're desperate. Like we literally don't know where this is. So I'm like, okay, I'm just, I'm, I'll just go look again. Whatever. So he's on the phone with her. I promise you, it's not in the recliner. I can hear her say, the recliners just, they just eat things up, Andrew. They just eat things up. He's like, Hannah, it's not in the recliner. And I'm just like, I'll go look one more time. So I'm literally lifting up like the Mm -hmm. seams of the recliner. Recliner. The (laughs) recliner. The recliner where nothing could ever be. Like the seams of the, the, why is that so hard to say? (laughs) These things have never seen the daylight. They've never felt human hands before. So then all of a sudden, I'm just like, okay, I'll get on the ground and look under the recliner one more time. So I get on the ground and I see that on the back of the recliner, there's like a piece that like Velcros onto the recliner. So I was like, oh my gosh, it could be in this like weird Velcro piece. So I unvelcro it and literally a massive amount of nerds <laughs> fell out of the back of this recliner. I don't know. Some of must have spilled nerds. Well, down. that's what I'm saying. <laughs> this, they probably had this thing for like six years and that has never been seen. So, so I'm like, like, I'm like, okay, this is awkward. Like this, I just got nerds all over everywhere. I'm like, whoa, there's a lot of nerds under here. So I glance down the whole thing and I don't see anything. I'm like, dang, that sucks. This, it's really not in the recliner. Like I really don't know where it is. I'm like, but I guess I'll just check on the other side. But I thought I could see like down the entire Mm. side of the recliner. So then I go on the other side and I start to like feel the back of it. And all of a sudden I kind of feel this like little square. And I was like, oh my gosh, this could be it. But I'm like, I don't know, because it it kind of seemed like that's like where a piece of wood would be Mm. for the back of the recliner. So then I rip off the other side and I see the corner of the uh, wallet. And I was like, (gasps) <gasps> oh right there. my gosh right and there. andrew thought that i had seen a rat no because <laughs> she goes she goes oh my god and i'm in front of it and i literally thought she found a dead rat because i'm like there's not a wallet in there i yeah. looked and i'm like what did she just find a dead rat a snake i don't know and then she goes i found it and i was like where in the recliner she's like yeah it was back there i'm like i was like how what I like how is it in there? I literally know it wasn't in there. I like this is like this is like someone showing you a dollar bill and saying, I don't have a dollar. I'm like, yes, you do. I literally just saw you have a dollar. That's how it was because I knew yeah. the wallet was not in that freaking recliner. And she goes, Yeah, that was. So then as a prize for my gallant effort to find Andrew's wallet and succession in finding Andrew's wallet, he bought me a starbucks <laughs> i said anything you want babe i will buy you he was anything. like do you want boba do you want starbucks what do you want and i was like let's go get some starbucks so we got some buckies and uh now i don't have to go to the dmv for at least uh i mean my credit you card need, does expire need, in like a you month you need to go to the dmv yeah i need to go like to the dmv to i'm still because i live in texas now and i still rocking the az license so i just hate the dmv and they suck I get but it, i am but getting like, a trolling motor for my kayak soon and you have to register wait, so you're I what do, getting a a trolling motor for my mm, kayak how much is that a lot mm. but they go up to six miles an hour and on a kayak that's freaking mm-hmm. hauling yeah plus mm-hmm. i don't want to pedal that thing which means more fishing baby yeah, yeah 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 but yeah that was pretty much how my life was over how i lost all my money for a slight duration of my life i was actually scared but i mean like what if they take all my money they get like 17 bucks so what are they gonna go yeah, buy true. a large two topping at domino's that's all they can afford so it was it, it was it, a moment of panic though it was like where is this thing because it's either at whole foods or it's here and it's neither place yeah. and the alien come down and abduct this wall like that's how convinced i was i said i know for a fact i did not leave it at whole foods <laughs> I know for a fact I just cannot, it is somewhere in there, I literally but it's not. cannot believe it was in the recliner and we looked through the trash. It's the like literal literally, trash. Like I'm not kidding. I have never searched something more in my life. <laughs> but that rec- like I know the ins and out of that recliner. <laughs> no. Like I honestly think I went through so, so far deep through it. I was feeling the floor. Like I was deep in that thing. I said it's not in here and then Claire pulls it out and it, it was the most amazing day of my life. Yeah, I know. It was insane. I am incredible. Thank it, you. Yes, yeah, she is. Like, I've never been more proud of someone <laughs> in my life. 
Literally, I'm more proud of you than I was when David Ortiz. Andrew almost proposed right there. He almost got down on one knee. No, I was not that close. Andrew. I would have been better off someone stealing all my money, babe. Sorry, but you you pretty much steal all my money. Wait, yeah. Is that why you found it? Yeah. Yeah. Without your wallet, I'm nothing. (laughs) No, I'm joking. That's actually not true, but. Wait. You mean you're nothing is in nothing in this relationship? No, or like, yeah, I mean without your wallet, we're nothing. Sorry, not I'm nothing. What? That's well, even worse. That's true. So you dump me if I didn't have my wallet? Yeah, obviously, I'm just in it for I the money. I don't think you're saying it right because it sounds like you're saying like if I if you Sorry, didn't have my I mean, wallet, you would be. This nothing. is what I actually mean. Without your money, I Claire would, and Drew I would, would be dump nothing. You. No, I would dump you. I'm only here for your money. I don't even love you. Yeah, kind of a weird week. Fourth of July, recording a lot of videos. Claire was out of town, so there was a slight uh, slight delay on activities we could have done. We promise the next one will be better. We need to figure out a name for this. Is Couple on the Couch cool? But I like kinda, Couple on the Couch. I like it, but then we got to sit on a couch. And it's I kind know, of a but pain. we could figure it out. But what if we think of like a cool name and we get a uh, like a... What are those things called? A uh, thing? A neon sign. Yeah, a neon sign. Custom made. Slap that on the wall. That, that would, would be, be cool. freaking hot. That would hot. be cool. That would be hot. Let look us know. Look at the towel that's sitting right there. That's a towel if you guys were wondering. Oh, that is a towel. I thought that was a reflection. <laughs> oh, no. Good thing it's kind of blurred. This camera quality, though, is yeah, freaking heat. I bought this lens. Another cool story. Like three years ago. Never used it. I said, I'll probably need it someday. Boom! Three years later, we're pulling through, baby. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, that's kind of what we did. Let us know what the coolest thing you did this week was. Yeah, um, and how your 4th of July was. Yeah. I want to know. Yeah. And expect these like every Monday or something like that because yeah. we're going to record them on Sunday since it's the end of the week. And, uh, and don't be the guy who goes, Monday's is the end of the week, you freaking moron or whatever. This stuff's stupid. Don't, okay. Or Saturday or whatever. Just, okay. But that's going to be it, you guys. Make sure before you leave to like and subscribe and let us know if there are certain things you want us to talk about. We are just trying this out. We're getting used to it. We're having fun with it. So, Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Ha! Deuces, bro. All right, you guys. Here's kind of the behind the scenes if you want to see. But we decided that we were not going to... Babe, look here. Oh, sorry. We decided that we were not going to film the bottle kick flip? Kick? Kick on that camera because it's just Uh. too nice too nice too expensive so i'm gonna give it one shot on this for you guys to see okay oh god is this a good height yeah. one chance babe <laughs> swing and a miss one, one more. more one more <laughs> she's incredible Yeah.